Hello and welcome to the World Tuna MIDI setup tutorial. Okay, so first off, we're gonna download the drivers for the MIDI controller, which you can find in en.world.com.cn. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you don't have to type it out anymore. Uh, when you arrive in the website, you just go to their download page. After it loads up, you're gonna have to go to the MIDI software editor and then you look for Tuna Mini Software Editor and then you left click it. You're gonna wait for it to download. It's gonna be somewhat slow because it's gonna be there and that's making your download slow. So I'm gonna get back when this finishes. Okay, so after you download the zip file, when you extract it, what's inside is this software. So before you run this, before you run this software, you're gonna have to connect your MIDI controller. Okay, so I've connected mine already. So let us now run this. Okay, so it shows this pop-up window when it's connected properly. When you get the controller could not be found pop-up window, you're gonna have to reconnect your MIDI controller until this until it shows this pop-up window okay so we're gonna press ok and then it's gonna show up another pop-up window this one it's just a notification that the default settings are already sent to your MIDI controller so you just press ok okay so I loaded up my MIDI controller settings so uh, let's start with the global parameters um, this one, the pad velocity curve, I set to full because I prefer to set the velocity later when I'm using my DAW. Um, if you want a, a bit of velocity differences, you can either choose logarithmic or exponential. I don't recommend linear, it's not really that responsive. Also, in velocity curve, I also use full. Uh, it's actually this, these two are different functions because this one is for the pads of your MIDI controller and this one is for the keys here so the knob acceleration you can yet set it to medium or fast I usually set mine to medium but if you think that's not so sensitive then you can set it to fast but I prefer it on medium okay so next up is the selected control parameters for each of the knobs and faders here so first if you want to set the color of your pads, you just have to press one pad and then you're going to hover over here. These are the color settings. See, it says CR, CG, and CB. CR is for the red and then CG is for green and CB is blue. It uses an RGB color profile so you can adjust it to whatever color you want within that color profile. So yeah, I have different values for each pad. I usually just set this to default, the other settings in the selected control parameters. Okay, so let's move on to the faders. So as I've noticed in my DAW FL Studio, when I turn the knobs and faders, it doesn't work properly at the default settings. So I had to set up the settings from NPRN RPN into continuous mode and then set the mode option from relative to absolute uh, I don't know it I think it's an FL studio problem but these settings work for me and it makes it work properly you can just set these into default the pitch and the mod wheels if you want to save your settings you can press save and then set it to whatever name you want and then you press save and then if you want to load it again you can just load it here and where where you put it last time you load it and then make sure you press send to keyboard and then it's gonna pop it's gonna pop up a window like this where it says success, successfully sent to world device so yeah after that if you want to check the drum pads already changes color after that pop-up window shows up so, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial.